Okay, welcome to Skyway Classics. Look at this butte, man. 428 rocket jet Ford motor in it. Look at the lines on this car. It's a fair lane. This car is, um, represents itself as a solid, you know, paint job. We're looking at a seven or eight. The only uh, 10 I ever give is to my wife, so I gotta start off at a nine, but this car is sweet. It is a four speed. It does have the uh, Krager uh, five-star chrome wheels on it. The car is what you see is what you get. Many times you can go look at a car, get some pictures, show up to see the car, and you're like, wow, where did this thing come from? It doesn't represent itself. This one does. So what I'm going to do is a quick walk around to show you the quality of the paint. Um, the lines down the car are just awesome. I hope the video is picking up. There's no wave in the metal, all that. This car is 100%. Um, a metal southern car so we're walking around it nice and slow for you so you, you can see the uh you know the style and the condition then i'll take it down the road so you can see it uh, moving down the road and how she shifts and no vibration in the steering wheel and then i'll put her up on the hoist for you so that you can look underneath it and the bottom of this car looks as nice as the top of the car so this is um the ford fairlane gt skyway classic Okay, started her up there as you can see. Um, we're gonna go for a little ride. Fuel gauge does work. I have driven this to car before and the uh, speedometer does work. He has some extra gauges on the bottom of the car too, just for backup for your oil, your uh, water pressure, temperature, and volts. So that's kind of good. I'm passing the phone over to Max so that I can drive. Um, this is a correct S code car. Um, when it, was, it has an upgrade on its build sheet to a 428. So this car is all factory correct. Um, the car does have air conditioning, um, <clears throat> power steering, uh, kind of really shifts like a champ. So um, I can show you the speedometer. It does, you know, does keep proper um, speed. And the fuel gauge, I put some fuel in it, so I do, do know it works. Headlights work. Um, gonna wait for the traffic to move right here. Then we're gonna go down the road for a mile or so let you look at the gauges so you can see the car is completely drivable without uh, uh, overheating or anything like that so here we go a couple cars passing oh boy someone's in their way with a, with a car mauler so I'll get her on there we'll get past the school bus here listen to that rumble boy because she sounds good got that four speed out 70 miles an hour already fourth gear just a blast so I'm gonna slow her down and we're gonna go ahead and spin her back around and then after I spin her back around, we'll get her on the hoist so you can see it uh, um, on the uh, bottom side. Thank you, man. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, back from that test ride now. We have the 66 um, color correct, um, code correct, upgraded 428 motor. I'm walking underneath it. There are some still pictures, but, you know, a video kind of shows it a little bit better too, a little bit more personal. We have uh, a real nice bottom on the car. So that is the passenger side. Shock absorbers, nice dry pig on the rear end. New shocks on that side. Now I'm gonna be walking up the uh, driver's side of the floor pan. All real good, just a solid fun car. Kinda had a lot of fun going down the road too, uh, shifting those gears. If there's a quick underneath video, if you have any questions, please look us up at skywayclassics.com or you can call Al Tansky at 734-323-9260. Be more than happy to answer any more questions. Do a private FaceTime, whatever it takes to make you happy.